Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. Till the last session, we have seen how we can uh, develop this add a new product component and now we are completely done with this add a new product component, including a security as well. Now today onwards, we are going to talk about one new component which is called as a see all products component. So as the name suggests, inside this component, what we are going to show is we are going to show uh, all the products which are available into a database to the admin so that admin can perform any different operations like edit the product detail or uh, deleting any product so admin can perform those operations on any product so what we are going to do is we are going to add one more tab over here and then uh, when admin will click on that uh, tab then we will populate one new screen where we will we will show all the information in a table structure so we are going to do uh, that uh, from today onwards. But for this, again, there are two different parts. We have to first of all think from a backend perspective and then we have to think of a, a UI perspective. So today in this session, what I'm going to show you is I'm just going to show you how we can develop one API to get all the product details which are available um, inside a database. So we are going to develop the API to get all the product details and then in the next session we will see about the UIs. So let me just go to the IntelliJ quickly and then let me just go to my product controller. So let me just go SRC under main under Java and then com.youtube.ecommerce then controller and then let me just go to the product controller. Now over here previously just we have created one API that is uh, add a new product api similarly we have to add one new api so let me just add public and it will be a list of product because product can be multiple products so it will be a list of product and let me just give it as a get all products like this now we have to give a mapping as well so let me just use a get mapping and let me just use slash get all products like this and now let me just save this code now similar to this controller we have to add one more method in a service as well so let me just go to the product service and over here let me just add one new method let's say public and again it will return a list of a products list of product and then let me just give the name as get all products and again it is pretty simple like retaining uh, the list of all the products which are present into a database it is really very simple the only thing that we have to do is we have to just use product dao dot find all and then we have to just return it as it is so let me just use return in front of it like this now over here you will get the issue like find all basically returns uh, the iterable whereas we are mentioning that we will return a list so we have to just cast these uh, iterable into a list so let me just cast it like list of product like this and let me just save this code now if you are wondering from where that uh, this find all method is coming so if you just go to the product dao we are just extending the product DAO interface with the CRUD repository and find all is basically present into this uh, CRUD repository. So if you see inside a CRUD repository, we have the method that is a find all, which basically returns the iterable. So the find all is basically coming from a uh, CRUD repository itself. This is not our method. This is a method of CRUD repository. Now we are done with the service changes. Let me just come back to the controller and over here let me just use product service dot get all products and whatever whatever the whatever my service method will return i will just return it to the ui as it is and now let me just save this code and the only thing that we have left back is disabling the security because as of now we are not completely done with the functionality and we are just using this for a testing purpose so that's the reason i'm just going to disable the security for this api so that for each time i don't need to use a jwt token 
and once i completely done with this functionality then only i will apply the proper security so to disable the security let me just copy the api name and let me just go to the configuration package and let me just go to the web security configurations and over here if you see on line number 43 inside configure a method we have this list of different apis so let me just add one more api over here so for whatever apis which are mentioned over here it is basically means that we are just disabling the security for these particular apis now let me save this code and let me just restart my application and let's see what happens and how whether we are able to get the list of all the products or not so if we my application is started and as of now we don't have the ui so that's the reason we have to test it in a postman itself so let me just go to the postman and let me just use http colon uh, slash slash localhost colon 9090 which is my port number you can check your port number and that port number you will get it inside intellij itself so let me just show you where you will get it so somewhere here yeah so you will get it like tomcat started on port 9090 so that port number you have to use and slash you have to use a api name and the mapping will be a get mapping so let me keep it as it is and let me just click on a send button so as of now if i just go to my database uh, and if i just go to my product table so we have nothing inside a product table so let me just go to the postman and let me see so as of now we don't have anything on inside my product table that's the reason we are getting the empty array now let me just come back to my ui and let me just use this add a new product screen to add some new product and let me see whether i am able to get it on my postman or not let me just add one image let me just click on add product and let me now let me just come back to the my sql let me see yes we are able to see one product now let me just come back to the postman and yes we are able to get the product uh, right now so whatever number of products you will add you will all all the products you will get with the help of this particular api so i think we have uh, done every single thing for this api in the next session what we have to do is we have to just use this api from angular side and then we have to just show uh, all the product details that whatever we will receive from the api to the admin how we are going to show is like we are going to show it in a table structure so we are going to do that in a next session so uh, we have covered how we can create api in this session so if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case and i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session